Hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. And in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you just a short retouching. And also, I'll be working on the background also. Because you guys request for more of background manipulation videos kind of retouching. So I'm only going to be doing a little bit of retouching on the picture. Nothing much. And also I'll be manipulating this background. I won't be changing the background. I'm only going to be manipulating the, this particular background. I'll be using making use of my Gaussian blow and also my radial blow to do that. So with no further ado, let's jump to, let's jump into action. So first thing I love doing when doing any of my picture is that I love duplicating my layer. I don't love working on my background layer, so I'm going to do that by clicking on my Ctrl J. Click on Ctrl J. As you can see, we have two layer over here. So I'm going to extend this background over here. As you can see, there are white. There's a white line over here. I want the background to reach, uh, to cover it. So I'll pick my rectangle marker too. So I'll drag over this area from up to down. So I'll control T to free transform. Then I'll hold on my shift key. Then I'll drag from this side. Once it covered the area I wanted to cover, I'll remove my hand and click on OK. Then I'll deselect the selection by clicking on Ctrl D. As you can see. Come to switch up this, this is the before and this is the after and it's not looking as if uh we did that it's looking realistic so we're done with the first step the second step is just for to retouch the picture firstly i'm going to be using my ultimate retouch panel to do just that right now so if you don't have the ultimate retouch panel the link is in the description you can download it there and also a video on, on how to install it too is there so i'll click on my ultimate retouch I'm use, I'll be using 2FS Gaussian, so I'm going to click on it, wait for it to load. I'm currently working on a portrait picture right now. I'm going to just my radius and make sure it's at 4.0, 4.0. You can put it 4.0, you can just leave it at 4 pixel. Then click on OK. So you wait for it to load. Once it does, so these are the, uh, these are, this is what it looks like. Uh, for it to be retouching, we're going to be making use of our volume retouch. So you can decide to kill the texture while retouching your picture. But I, I love leaving my own that way. So I'll pick up my mixer brush, which is over here. I'll pick up the mixer brush. My current setting is at 23, waste 23, load 100%, mix 100%, flow 50%, and this other one, I don't know its name, at 5%. So I'm going to be as in smudging the picture, smudging the skin together so I will be doing just that right now as you can see I'm just dragging and dropping, dragging and dropping nothing much dragging and drop, dragging and drop I'm not doing extreme retouching here, I'll be dropping a video very soon on how to retouch picture, I'm just doing smoothing the skin blending the dodge and the bond together so that's the thing i'm doing right now nothing much nothing add just to make sure the skin is smooth my model skin is smooth and why smudging the skin like this so why retouching the skin like this uh notes don't drag the dodge to the bone area and also not the bone to the dodge area you can just you can keep constantly remove your hand from your left click just to make amends to that you can see I'm following a pattern right now I'm following a straight line right now so let me show you our before these are before these are after nothing much we are just smoothing the skin so I'll do that to the next also so I'll also do that to the hands I'm going to clean up the knuckles a little bit as you can see so if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel kindly do so now by clicking on the subscribe button and this if this is your first time visiting you can go through all my videos there are so many videos on manipulations there uh, which you can learn from and also free files to make use of for your retouching, color grading and manipulation also 
and I'll be dropping in new videos too on my channel very soon for you guys to learn from so let's say we're done with the retouching for now we're done with it for now nothing much just very 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 simple not an extreme retouching because our model face is already smooth so we're done with this and if you're seeing that your picture is not that sharp you can just click on this texture boost by once you switch it on wait for it to load you can see there's more much texture here but it's too much for our skin for our picture so we just reduce the opacity we we'll bring that the opacity to I think 25% is okay by me 25 but we want the skin texture on just the model alone we don't want it we don't want it on the background and also the clothes so you hold on your alt key click on your uh, layer mask click on it as you can see it has removed all the texture for us so we'll now pick our normal brush now our opacity at 100 so we'll apply to the area we want it to be uh, i want it to be in my model space the face is okay also our hands so we're done with the first step you can decide to dodge and burn now so i'm only going i will be doing the boots let's just jump into that right now so i'll click on my action panel over here this is the dodge and burn i'm using so i'm going to click on dodge i'll play it so once it loads i will go and pick on my brush this is my normal brush the opacity i will leave it at 14 percent then i'll scrub over the area i want to apply my dodge on which is here yeah, here yeah, the forehead and also the straight line here yeah. So also we can just touch up the lips too a little bit. Touch the lips a little bit. These are before, these are after, nothing much. Just add up a little brightness to it. So we are going to click on our bone also now, then play it. If you don't know how to apply the dodge and bone, don't know where the area, uh, no area for you to apply it, you can just kindly use this step. Go to your cover adjustment layer by click on it, then click on black and white. So you reduce your red, bring it down, bring it down. This area here, this area you are going to burn, while this area are the areas you are going to dodge. So let's just stop with it right now with our bone layer. So my opacity is still at 14%. I'm going to increase my brush size. These are the area I want to apply my bone on. So I'll just scrub over it. One, two, let's make it three. So if I'm to turn it up now, you can see the difference. You can see the difference. So it darkens the area for us. So I'll do same thing uh, in the news also do same thing the reason why we dodge our pictures and burn it most of the time is for we to restructure the face of our model it's made for facial re uh, reconstructions that's the reason why you do apply dodge most of the time so if i'm to turn off this black layer now these are bone layers you can see right now when we see that it's too sharp you can just adjust it by double clicking on the bone wait for it to load then you feather it Feather at 13.2 pixel or till you see if it's do. So we're done with that for now. So we we'll merge this together with our frequency separation layer, Ctrl E. As you can see, these are before, D is our after. Before, after. Nothing much, very simple, but simple and straightforward. And also bring out what you want to bring out. So we're done with that. The next thing is for you to manipulate the background now. So as I said earlier, I'm going to be manipulating the background in the easy way. I'll still be making use of this background. I'll just be modifying it a little bit. I've already made my pictures together, the frequency separation. So what I'm going to do now, 
I'm going to duplicate the layer I just made together, Ctrl G. Then I'll click on my quick selection tool over here. I'll click on it. Then select subjects. I'll wait for the computer, the AI to do make the selection for me. Then I'll just have to make few adjustments to it. Then run the top. So I'll wait for it to load. So this is the selection it made for us, which is awesome. But uh, it's leaving some area behind, so we are just going to amend that by ourselves. So I'll zoom in to see what you are doing very well. Just add to the adjustments. If you have to reduce, reduce from the selections. Just to make sure you have your perfect selection. That's all. Wait for it. Check it very well. Okay, let's say we're done with the selection for now. So the next thing to do is just to uh, duplicate the layer. Just click on Ctrl J to bring out the picture from the background. If I'm to switch off all the layer now, as you can see, our model is standing alone without the background. So that's that. The next thing we'll do now, the layer below, we are going to click on it. Then we'll Ctrl click on our upper layer right here. Ctrl click. Go to our select, under select, modify then expand I'm going to be expanding by it click on ok then i'm going to delete the selection from the background then deselect by clicking on ctrl d if you can see now our background is standing alone that's what we did right now now it's for we to go to our filter under our filter i'll go to blur then gaussian blur so we are trying to blow out this background a little bit I'm going to blow it out because there are blemishes there so I think 30 pixels is ok, 30 is ok by me, let's put it at 30.0, cause I am still going to blow it again, so I click on my ok, the background is looking all that nice now, so the next thing we are going to do, I am going to merge everything together, the three layers I will merge it together, Control shift and then E. So now I'm going to pick up my lasso to my normal lasso to right there. So I'm going to select some area I want to blow out. I'm blowing this air out, you can see. So I'm going to blow this area out. I'm going to blow this area out. I'm going to blow this area out. You can see how I make my selection. It's not that perfect. You can make yours more perfect than that. So this time around, instead of we to be using our Gaussian blow, we are going to be making use of our radiable blow. Sorry. So I'm going to invite the selection. I control shift and I go to my filter. Go to blow under blow. I go to radial blow. Wait for it to load. It's told me to be using spin. Normally it's supposed to be on spin. I'm going to put it on zoom. So my amount, I'm going to increase it. Let me use 15 for now. Then I'll click on my OK. Wait for it to load. Ctrl D, you want it does. As you can see, our picture is looking all that nice. Looking all that nice. So now the next thing is for we to color grade it. So I'm going to do that. I'm really going to be making the one loot. Uh, and I'll drop the load for you guys to download. For that load, I'll be using finishing the picture. Uh, they are my premium loot. If you are interested in buying, I'll also drop the link below. You can get it there. So I'll go to my color lookup. Under color lookup, I'll look for chocolates. Chocolates. Look for my chocolate. 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 What is my chocolates? Okay, chocolate color. Wait for it to load. As you can see that kills everything for us which make it look perfect so don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any question you can drop a question in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible on that and also if you want to learn how i save my pictures kindly watch the next video that is showing on your screen thanks for watching guys see you guys on my next tutorial